Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in the previous uh, videos, we discussed about some of the basic concepts related to signal flow graph and uh, we discussed about Mason's gain formula to determine the transfer function of a uh, block diagram system or a signal flow graph. We know that the signal flow graph is, uh, uh, is an equivalent graphical representation of a block diagram. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to discuss how to convert the basic rules to convert a block diagram representation into signal flow graph or signal flow diagram. What are the rules, the basic rules? Okay, And then we will discuss questions related to signal flow graph and block diagram to signal flow graph in separate videos. In this video, we are just, just going to discuss the basic rules. Okay. Now, the first rule, the most important rule of block diagram to signal flow graph conversion is that the nodes in the signal flow graph they are of two types they represent two entities in the block diagram the first one is takeoff point or summing or summing points or summers okay a takeoff point looks something like this this is a takeoff point okay this 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 point is a takeoff point there is a summing point or a summer it looks something like this it can be plus 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 minus anything this is a summing point so these two blocks okay they are the nodes in the sfg this is the most important rule of block diagram to signal flow conversion uh, i prefer to go with this only this rule only okay i don't like to use the second rule means it's not uh, that compulsory when it comes to block diagram to signal flow graph if you just remember this thing your uh, block diagram to signal flow graph conversion uh, rule the process is complete if you just remember this one rule but there is an extra rule okay which uh, is given in some textbooks so let us check out that okay so just remember that the nodes in the signal flow graph the individual nodes they are either the takeoff point or the summing point the next rule we'll discuss okay the next rule it has two parts okay rule number two let us say a it states that if we have an arrangement like this okay this
and there is a takeoff point here before the summing point. This is a takeoff point, this is a summing point. It states that if the takeoff point is before the summing point, if the takeoff point is before the summing point, then they are represented by two separate nodes. They are represented by two separate nodes. This is the first part of rule number 2. If the takeoff point is before the summing point, they are represented by two separate nodes 1 and 2. The second part of the rule is, let us say rule number B. If the arrangement looks like this, this is the summing point. and the takeoff point is immediately after the summing point. This is the takeoff point which is immediately after the summing point. Okay. Then, then they are together considered as a single node they are together considered as a single node. If the takeoff point is just after the summing point, they are together considered as a single node. Okay. There is an incoming, this and there is a this one. Here, it is like this. So, this one is a takeoff point from one and there is a signal to the summing point, but here it is considered as a single node when the takeoff point is immediately after the summing point. Here when the takeoff point is before the summing point, they are considered as two separate nodes, but here when it is after the summing point, just after the summing point, they are considered as single node, as one node. But uh, I like to go with the first rule. I do not uh, uh, generally uh, go with this uh, thing. I represent a takeoff point as one node and a summing point as a separate node. Even though the takeoff point is immediately after the summing point, even though the takeoff point is immediately after the summing point, I would recommend you to consider them as separate nodes like this. Okay. One, two, separate by a unit gain branch. I would recommend you this. But you can go with this option two if you want, if you are comfortable with it. I am generally comfortable with this. I, rep I represent each of the takeoff point and summing point as a separate node, even though the takeoff point is immediately after the summing point. Okay, you can go with uh, uh, any one of the following, which one you are comfortable, which one you feel like uh, you have a command over in solving the questions related to signal flow graph. Okay, so, let us now just uh, see how the block diagram to signal flow graph conversion takes place with the help of some small examples. So, here is an example a small one to discuss block diagram to signal flow graph conversion. Okay, so, we have a block diagram, a very small block diagram, which consists of summing points, blocks, feedback, forward path and feedback blocks and takeoff points. Here, we will discuss how to convert them into signal flow graph. Okay. So, I go with the first rule only. I represent each of the summing point as one node and takeoff point as a separate node. Okay, so here is a summing point. So let us call it node number one. This is a takeoff point as you can see. So this will be node number two. 
this is a summing point here so this is node number 3 rs and cs are input and output nodes <coughs> okay so let us perform the conversion rs One, two, three. Finally, the output node. Okay. In between one and two, there is a forward path gain of G one. Okay. So this is a forward path gain G one. Between two and one, there is a negative feedback gain. means negative feedback path with gain h1 so 2 and 1 minus h1 see negative feedback minus that's why it is minus h1 we have represented next in between 2 and 3 there is two forward path blocks g3 and g2 so 2 and 3 there is first g2 and then another g3 and then in between 3 and cs there is unity gain here also in between rs and 1 there is unity gain so this is how we converted the block diagram into this signal flow graph this is the respective signal flow graph for this block diagram we have represented each of the summing points and take off points as separate nodes okay so this is the second example uh, of block diagram to signal flow graph conversion here again we have taken a very small block diagram so let us convert it into sfg now here i have deliberately placed the take off point immediately after the summing point here i am considering them as separate nodes okay so this is a summing point this will be one node let's call it node number 1 this is a take off point even if it is immediately after the summing point i will take it as node number 2 this is another take off point it's node number 3 and this is the summing point so we node number 4 input and output are separate nodes okay so let us perform the conversion so input node <coughs> node number 1 node number 2 node number 3 node number 4 and finally the output node <coughs> now in between node 1 and 2 there is no block there is only unity gain a shorted path so it means there is unity gain between 1 and 2 between 2 and 3 there is a forward path with gain g1 between 2 and 3 this forward path with gain g1 now between 3 and 4 between 3 this take off point and 4 this summing point there is a forward path with gain g2 so 3 and 4 there is g2 between 2 and 4 between 2 and 4 there is a forward path block with gain g3 between 2 and 4 so it is g3 forward path block with gain g3 between 1 the summing point and this take off point there is a negative feedback okay here it is minus so there is a negative feedback path with gain h1 between 1 and 3 between 1 and 3 1 and 3 so it is like this it will be minus h1 because of this negative feedback connection because there is a negative feedback connection here 
it will be minus h1 so this is how we converted the above block diagram into signal flow graph this is the signal flow graph this is the block diagram equivalent representation okay so here we have discussed about block diagram to signal flow graph conversion okay so here i have deliberately taken this take off point immediately after the summing point but i have taken them as separate nodes okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much